Hi, this is JJ with News Up Now. Today we're going to go over my five favorite back strengthening exercises that you can do at home with minimal equipment. All you're going to need are two small to medium sized dumbbells and one medium sized resistance band. And you can pick those up anywhere, like on Amazon or your favorite online retailer. Why do we want to work on our back? Well, many of us are spending hours and hours and hours flexed at our hips, sitting in chairs, hunched over a computer, typing all the time. What happens when we're in this position for a really long time, our upper back muscles and mid back muscles get lengthened and weakened and that leads to pain in your lower back, all right? So what we want to do, we want to strengthen those upper and mid back muscles that erect your spine up to alleviate that pain and tension that might be happening in your lower back, okay? So let's get started. All right, our first move is a single arm dumbbell row. You're gonna take one dumbbell in one hand. I'm gonna start with my right. You're gonna get your feet about hip width apart and I'm gonna extend my hips back. I'm gonna take my left hand, my non-working hand, and brace on my left knee. Starting position, the head of the dumbbell is touching my kneecap, right like that, okay? That's how I know I'm in the right position. If the head of the dumbbell is above my kneecap, this is gonna hurt your neck, all right? So this is start position. I'm gonna slowly and controlled the same tempo on the way up, same tempo on the way down. Bring that dumbbell all the way up to my ribs and fully extend my elbow so that the head of the dumbbell goes back to my kneecap, all right? I'm gonna do 12 to 15 reps on either side. And I always wanna make sure that I'm fully extending that elbow and that I'm not dropping my shoulder down. So it's not an explosive lawnmower movement, it's a slow, controlled movement so that our muscles have to create and hold on to tension for as long as possible. For our next exercise, we're going to do an explosive swing. All right. Uh, traditionally, this is done with a kettlebell, but these days kettlebells are hard to get our hands on. So if you have a kettlebell, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. We're going to use a dumbbell. All right. So I always start with a dumbbell a couple of feet in front of me. I'm going to get my hips back. All right. A, hip, a kettlebell swing or a, a dumbbell swing is all about moving through the hip, all right? So I'm gonna place my hands on that dumbbell. I'm gonna grab it nice and firm. My hips are back and I'm gonna hike that back like a football and I'm gonna explode through my hips. So I always say to myself as I do this, hinge, pop. Hinge means get your booty back, booty forward. Booty back, booty forward. I'm squeezing my butt, my glute muscles to explode forward to propel that weight up. I am not using my hands as the primary driver, all right? My hands are just steering, all right? I'm gonna show you from the side. You're gonna go hinge, pop, hinge, pop. So notice how I'm using the power of my glute muscles, my butt, to pop forward to explode that weight up. I'm not using my hands like this, all right? And I'm not using my lower back like this, okay? So, so do anywhere from 12 to 25 reps, depending on how conditioned you are. And then when you're ready to stop, you're gonna stop the same way we started, by carefully placing the dumbbell on the floor. Okay, for our next move, we're gonna do a reverse fly. So you're gonna take two dumbbells and you're gonna get in that same position that we got into with our single arm row, all right? So both kneecaps have uh, dumbbells in front of them, okay? So not up like this, but heads of the dumbbell are in front of my kneecaps. My feet are a little bit more narrow than when I did my bent over row, okay? I'm gonna do that same shoulder packing drill. I'm gonna pack both shoulders, lock my scapula back, create tension in that shoulder joint, and I'm not gonna let go. I wanna make sure that my back is neutral, flat, like it is now. This I want to avoid, so I draw my shoulders down and back, okay? So this is start. I'm gonna take the dumbbells carefully and smoothly back and slowly bring them together. So I'm moving my arms like the wings of a bird. So they go out like the wings of an airplane. That's a nice visual for you, okay? Uh, if you are a letter, if you wanna think in terms of like a letter, see that my arms look like the letter A. If they look more like the letter T, that means I'm bringing the dumbbells out to the side. I wanna avoid that. This is about the letter A or wings of a bird, okay? So that's why we call it a reverse fly, all right? One thing I want you to avoid is exploding up like that. So I want you to make sure that you're staying down in this position, that the heads of the dumbbells are always in front of your kneecaps, and that the movement is nice 
and smooth. And I'm gonna do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. The slower you bring the dumbbells together, the better. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna take a resistance band. Start with a nice medium resistance. That's kind of a, a go-to jack of all trades that you can do a lot with, all right? You're gonna wanna tie it to a pole or to a bracket, just affix it somewhere so it's about two or three feet above your head. It's not an exact science. It doesn't matter if it's a little higher or a little lower than mine. But what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna take your hands and place them in the handles like this. And you wanna create some tension here. All right, so this is my starting position and I'm pressing forward and I can feel that tension. If there's no tension in the bands and it's drooping, you need to scoot forward just a little bit more, okay? So I'm good here. Uh, just like when we did our core the other day, I pressed my ribs down into the floor when I did that, that movement with the leg drop. So I wanna create that same tension in my abs here by pressing my ribs down. All right, so I've got tension here. My feet are flat on the floor. I'm engaging my abs. Now keeping my arms straight, I'm gonna press the handles down towards my pockets, just shy of hitting the floor. And I'm gonna slowly release back down. So down, slowly release back up. I don't need to go all the way to the floor. I stop right about where my pockets are and then I control it on the way back. What I don't want is this. At this point, I'm not really using my muscles. The band is pulling me. You wanna think you're in control of the band and you control how slowly your arms go back. The slower your arms go back, the more strength you're gonna build in your lats and those muscles in your armpits, those big, strong back muscles, okay? So you wanna do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps here. If doing 12 to 15 reps is too easy, all you need to do is create more tension in your band by scooting a little bit more forward, all right? The farther away you are from the tie-off point, the more resistance it's gonna create, okay? So this is great if you're missing doing lat pull-downs or pull-ups that you can't do at home that you used to do in the gym. So our lats, big muscle, they're about 80% of your back. So whether you wanna burn the most amount of calories or you just wanna have a nice strong back, you can't skip your lats. So this is a great way to do that at home. All right, for our last move, I call these Supermans. All right, you're gonna lay on your stomach on your mat, all right? You're gonna put your arms out in a W position, all right? So this is Y. We're gonna be in W to start. My feet are together, and no matter what I do throughout this movement, I'm gonna keep my hips all right, my legs, my feet touching the ground, all right? So I'm starting from here, and I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades together, bring my chest off the ground, and hold one, two, three, back down. I come up for two, two, three, back down. As I do it, I'm bringing my shoulder blades together, I'm really engaging the muscles of my mid back. I'm drawing my shoulders down away from my ears, and I'm drawing my shoulder blades together. Again, the most important part is that I don't raise my feet up off the ground like that. That takes it into the lower back, which we want to avoid. So you're pressing your hips into the floor, squeezing your butt, and only engaging the muscles of your upper and mid back. So for all the moves today, I'm giving you a rep range of 12 to 15 for most of the dumbbell moves. Now, you wanna pick a weight that you can safely and reasonably accomplish 12 to 15 reps. If you can't get to eight, or, 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 or if you can't get up to that number of reps, you need to lower the weight down. If it's way too easy and you're not working up a sweat and it doesn't feel like a challenge, then you need to get some heavier dumbbells.